Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Amber Shows. I have lots and lots and lots of news because I wasn't with you yesterday. So we're going to get started really quickly. All right. First thing I want to talk about are lifeguards. I know it's almost the end of the summer, but many people are still going on vacation uh, before uh, Labor Day and people are maybe still on vacation or you have your pools and wherever you are, it's still really hot. Well, did you know that one in five children drown in pools while the lifeguard is on duty? It's really a shame. 13-year-old Ricky Harris, he was such a handsome young man, was, they actually caught him on videotape because you have the tape there at the pool, got into a pool at camp, uh, and for 10 minutes, he was at the bottom of the pool and no one noticed. One of the lifeguards was showed that on the tape that she was distracted. Another one was on a computer. He was at the bottom of the pool. There were other kids in the pool, but nobody was paying attention to him but the lifeguards were actually not there for this handsome young man in the prime of his life, 13 years old. Uh, he, um, they showed that some of the bodyguards, I mean lifeguards at some other pools, they were like flashing other pools to, to do a, the story and the survey on how lifeguards do. One lifeguard was actually sitting up on the, the thing that where he looks out off of in the chair and he had a blanket over his face because it was too hot out so he could see no one another lifeguard was this is the truth i saw it she was laid out on the beach in the sand with her blanket laid out had brought a newborn her newborn baby that was in a car carrier seat on the sand and her toddler laying there on the sand while she had a blanket over her face. The cameraman actually came up to her and said, and woke her up and said, aren't you a bodyguard? She had her two children there and she was up underneath a blanket, hung over. So look, all the people that could be drowning, this is where your lifeguard is at. I might've said bodyguard again, but you, I mean lifeguard, I'm sorry. Okay, um, many of them now, you know what the biggest thing is that, that lifeguards are doing? Texting. They're not looking at anybody. They're looking at their phone. They're sending Instagrams. They showed Instagram sh photos of lifeguards. Even They're called lifeguards on Instagram. Just look them up. Doing all kind of stuff except watching for the people who are out in the beach water, a lake water, or a poolside. They're not paying any attention. Just like how people are driving and texting, now the lifeguards are texting as well. It's really a shame. Uh, one uh, said uh, she was sneaking pictures while on life duty. That was her hashtag on Instagram. Again, Ricky Harris, 13 years old. Uh, his parents are suing a Transylvania University. Uh, they were the camp's operator and they're suing the lifeguards. The lifeguards' uh, lawyers have made statements stating that their, their lifeguard, the one that was on the computer, was supposedly on a break. But she's on a break, but she's right there in front of the pool at a desk on the computer. So you, don't you take your breaks away from where you work? And also, um, he said that the other lifeguard was just distracted in some way. And he had the nerve to say that Lifeguards are not babysitters. This is very true. They're not your babysitter, but they're there to protect the people who are in the water. That's who they're babysitting, the people in the water. So be very careful. Make sure that you not only are aware yourself of if you're there, where your children are in the water, but also check out the lifeguard. I'd go over to the lifeguard, I'd talk to the lifeguard, and I may even would threaten the lifeguard. You see that child over there? If something happens to that child, something happens to you. And then maybe they'll pay more attention to their job. All right, one of the sad news is that our 39th president, 
Jimmy Carter of the United States has been diagnosed with cancer, pancreatic cancer. It was liver cancer. Um, it has spread. His father passed away of pancreatic and liver cancer, and so did one of his brothers, and his mom died also of breast cancer. So it does run in his family. He said that, that, that gene. So he has been getting tests, um, but it has shown up, and he said it spread. He's a Libra like me, so he's a humanitarian. He believes in justice and love. He was one of the best presidents that we ever had. He uh, only served one term. He served from 1977 to 1981 and was later awarded uh, the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002. He was born October 9th in 1924. He was a president during the time of serious problems at home and abroad. His so-called mishandling of these issues led to the, the defeat in his bid for re-election. His father, Earl C Carter Sr., was a hard-working peanut farmer who owned his own small plot of land as well as a warehouse and store. His mother, Bessie Lillian Gordy, was a registered nurse who courageously, in the 1920s, crossed over racial divides to counsel black women on health care issues. His mother did that in 1924. Uh, Carter was the only, Jimmy Carter, our 39th president, was the only white man in all of Plains, Georgia in 1954 who refused to join a segregationist, segregationist group called the White Citizens Council, and he then, then not sh shortly thereafter, he found a sign on the front door of his home that said, Coons and Carters go together. He is a humanitarian. He's definitely one of the greatest presidents in American history. His um, priorities were always on human rights, and he helped uh, 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 um, sub people that are suffering uh, across the globe. His, uh, he, over, he also oversaw uh, communities that were based on health care in Africa uh, and in Latin America. He promotes peace in the Middle East and is always working toward peaceful solutions to international conflicts. He has written many books. Check them out. His life story is one of pure human humanitarian justi justice. His parents were good people when a time when there was a time when they were nobody with white people were not mingling, talking to and felt better and more superior than black people. His parents never raised their children like that. He wrote uh, the book including Our Endangered Endangered Values, uh, America's Moral Crisis. Uh, he also wrote uh, Palestine Peace, Not Apartheid. He's our nation's greatest social activist. I hope he gets better soon. Okay, um, this is the, the, the largest 6,000 6, foot of de death defying limestone is in the Swiss Alps. It's a 6,000 foot mountain and it's called the Murder Wall. Well, this morning, 22 year old Sasha De Julian. She's a Columbia University student. She has begun to claw her way into record books, climbing the peaks. She's going 6,000 feet straight up. Uh, by day, she'll climb, and at night, she'll camp on cliffs. She's a, uh, on track to reach the summit in the next week. Good luck to you. I hope you make it and I think it's crazy that you're doing it. When I was in college, I had a good friend named Fred White. These are white people that climb these peaks. Black people don't do that. Uh, he was a good friend of mine who's a ginger. He had red hair. We were in college together, and he went to climb uh, Mount Everest and died. Okay, um, also, this is what I didn't get to tell you uh, when I got cut off on my uh, last videotaping uh, two days ago. Uh, Cherie and Marlo on Real Housewives of Atlanta are returning. You know, Nene is gone. Um, so they'll be there. 
and I like Cherie Marlo. I kind of like, I like her style, but I don't really like her personality. I wouldn't like hang out with her. I want to be her friend. But Cherie, I like and uh, glad to see her back. All right, and I also didn't get a chance to tell you about this Montana man, um, Lance Crosby. Uh, he was killed uh, in the uh, Yellowstone National Park by a grizzly bear a couple days ago, uh, the, um, a female, and her cub was there. They have captured those two bears, and they're saying that if that's the bears through DNA uh, that killed uh, Mr. Cosby, that they would have to uh, euthanize them, uh, unfortunately. Listen, three other women just came out today saying Bill Cosby um, drugged them and raped them. Uh, one is an airline stewardess who she said she met on a, met him on a flight and she went back, they ended up becoming friends, talking, went back to his house, he drugged her, they were drinking, he was drinking champagne out of her shoe, and then when she woke up, uh, she had been molested, she could tell, and then there's two other people, they were actresses. Also, uh, today is happy left-handed day. Uh, so my husband is left-handed, Obama is left-handed, uh, most cricketeers, you know, the sport cricket, cricketeers, they're mostly left-handed. All kangaroos are left-handed. Leonardo da Vinci is left-handed. Jimi Hendrix was left-handed. And Nelly was left-handed. The only awkward things uh, which they're saying about left-handed people for them would be like your, remember classroom desks where the table, when you slide in, when the chair, the table was always right here on this side. And also playing cards and uh, high-fiving. Those would be your challenges as a left-hander. I'm going to go to the second part of the Amber Shows next because I don't want to get cut off and I've got lots more news. Have a great day.